My name is Rhapsody and welcome back to the Darkest Rhapsody Estate here in the Darkest Dungeon. Now, I spoke at the end of the last episode. If you haven't seen it, there's more than time to. Back? Hi! Yeah, I spoke at the last episode uh, about how I wanted to run a antiquarian along with the highwayman. Of course, because the highwayman has the ability to get the uh, riposte. And then the antiquarian has the ability to force the highwayman to guard them in order to also get the benefit of that riposte, right? And I've also just filled in the rest of the party with a little bit of healing. We've got Neville on the healing, as well as Godard on the stunning, right? As well as Godard's there for the stress heal mine. So, nothing there. I can give you Wicked... In fact, I probably should give you Wicked Slice, Hope, and Vein. I'm probably not going to be using Point Blank Shot. Well, I mean, I guess late in the fight because I, I'll be using Duelist Advance like twice. So yeah, we use... Um, probably those. And then Neville, you're going to take the Sacrificial Stab as well as the Abyssal Artillery, as well as the Word Reconstruction. Weird Reconstruction, sorry. I'm, I, it's really difficult for me to get used to that, frankly. Um, as well as the Demon's Pull. And then Mortimer, you already have what you got. Mortimer is all good. Don't worry, mon frere, you're fine. Anyone else need equipment? Yep. No extra equipo needed for any of these people, which is the fun new way I say equipment. So let's start having a look at some of our other characters that we can't really take out on missions because they're garbage. Like Curtis, who has Quick Draw, really good. Also has Dark Temptation, really bad. So let's remove that. Also, I'm going to start increasing the slots here so that I can get to 20 busts will give me a second placement, uh, placement in the treatment ward so that I can keep doing that. Um, we're going to be getting money here mainly rather than, uh, rather than portraits or deeds or anything like that. I guess I will probably break that a little in order to get some busts. It's worth noting that I still don't have my first district despite the fact that I do have a blueprint every time every time I go out on a mission without having yet made a district I'm just missing out on a buff that I could have so it is worth noting that I really 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 should have a district by now um but I tend to spend all of my resources as soon as I get them so it's real difficult for me to get I want to get like either cartographer's camp uh, camp or granary right but I keep throwing away all of my crests. It's gonna be a real, it's gonna be a rough time for us to do that. So that should be us settled. Actually, no. Hang on. There's someone else with a disease, creeping cough, in particular. There we go. Uh, we will also commit Vavasaur in order to remove your creeping cough. Um, could get Evelyn's bulimic away. That's actually not bad. Wasting sickness on Monville. I mean. Mm, Technically not really worth me removing, but I will remove it. All right. So this is a long wield mission as well. One of the reasons I'm doing this mission in particular is so that I can get Bouchard as leveled up as I possibly can. On top of that, I should remind myself that Unparalleled Finesse is probably the best thing that I can give to Bouchard because we are going to be using Malay in both our duelists' advance as well as our reposts. So that plus Bandit Sense is probably going to be like eight of my respite points. Right, so then on top of that, I'm probably just going to use whatever stress healing I really need. Um, Trinket Scrounge is actually really good as well, if I could get that done. I've equipped the Antiquarian with just extra scouting chance as well as trap design chance, as well as the Worry Stone for negative stress and plus virtue chance. This does mean that her speed is quite low, which is a little bit unfortunate. She is, however, also an early riser, so she's got the plus two from that. So you've got to remind yourself that she's actually going to have five, which is still pretty good. Not the best, but pretty good. I've given no equipment to Godard so that Godard has the extra... Uh, speed from natural so that they can try and stun targets before they move. We've got 110. Most things in this area at this level will have 25% resist. So I'm kind of just accepting the 15% failure rate so that I have the extra speed. High women starts in position two so they can start with their duels advance so they can move to the front position. Uh, there was another consideration for swapping these two so that Neville could be in position two for the start of the fight and possibly hands from the abyss someone in order to stun really early. 
Hands from the Abyss has a higher than usual stun chance. But I've actually kind of moved around on that and decided that Neville is actually just going to be straight up DPS and I'm only going to have one stun in the party. And the primary reason for that is because most of the things in this area are Eldritch. Uh, Neville has Warrior of Light for plus 10% damage, as well as the Eldritch Slayer's Ring for another plus 25% damage versus Eldritch, as well as has plus 20% versus Eldritch on the Sacrificial Stab and plus 17 on the Abyssal Artillery. So mm, unless you're healing, you're just going to be doing that. All right, I think this is our party, and let's go to the wheel. So I am going to... Is this my first long dungeon so far? I think it might be. I am going to err on the side of over-preparation. And... Who could possibly guess why that is? I'm terrified of everything and everything at all times. Uh, that's probably about it. Yeah. Let's go. Whew. I really would have liked to take the time to level up. Uh, I think it's Bouchard, right? Uh, hi, women. I really would have liked to take the time to level up Bouchard. But didn't really have the missions in order to do that. Corruption has soaked the soil, sapping all good life from these groves. Let us burn out this evil. All right, we're going to be going down, and then at the end, we'll probably turn the light out, come back, loot everything else, come back to this position, and then rest. We don't have anyone who's hylomanic or egomanic in this party, do we? Uh, we do have Egomania on Neville, but that's not going to force them to interact with this. You've got Ascetic. Okay, we're fine. Whoa, hang on. Ascetic, negative 20%. Uh, damn it. I thought Ascetic was negative 10% to your Bleed Resist and Blight Resist, but now I remember that that's actually Ashen. AS, come on. it's You can see where I made the mistake, right? That could end up being a problem. I'm going to roll for the kill on that. No ifs, ands, or buts about that one. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. So I've also marked myself here. Executed with impunity. Got to remind myself that anyone doing looting should be the antiquarian. Nature herself, oh, you. a victim to the spreading corruption, malformed with misintent. I was wondering why, why my inventory was so light. Without tools of iron, you must rely on flesh and indefatigable purpose. This area also has more than the average amount of, uh, of obstacles like that, so... I guess what I'm saying is life is about to be really difficult for us. Another one falls. And it's all my fault, mind. It's entirely my fault. I guarantee you that there was like one of you out there screaming, Ryan, Ryan, Ryan. And I didn't hear you, frankly. If only you'd shouted a little louder. On, I, frankly, this is on you. I had someone else marked. You're supposed to hit them. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Eh, get him. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. Another obstacle. I did it to myself. I have no one else to blame but me. Um, I'm going to have to get really lucky on some shovel uh, loots. Which is, by the way, in this area, quite unlikely. This could give us two. Uh, give us the shovel loots, actually. 
Good. Advantage. Give them no quarter. Basically, what I've done to myself is I've locked myself into a position where if I incur much stress during battle, I am going to go down really quickly. But if I can prevent myself from incurring much stress in battle and just lowering it gradually over time, I could actually be pretty fine here. It's also really important to stun that Fangle Scratcher, otherwise, it will target the person who is marked and it will do some serious stuff. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. Good. None of these have been targeted at the antiquarian so far, so technically we've not really had an effect. We're gonna roll a couple of heals because this guy is really slow, so we'll just kill him next round before he acts. Low damage bleed? Hell yes. Okay, so you're dead as soon as you try and act. Good heal. Still bled over the top of the uh, bleed resist that we were given. Unforeseen. It's unfortunate. Unforgiving. Take busts. Gold's better than Onyx. Uh, obviously, Onyx is better than Citrine. We should loot this, though. Possibility it gives us a shovel is just too important. We should loot it with the person who has the highest stress resist, in fact. So that's you. Because it can give you a negative effect which has stress. Obviously, also, if I'm looting anything, it should be with the Antiquarian. The light. Forgot about that for a wee safety. second there. Nice dodge, but really wanted a different order of marking, you know? Okay. Actually, just gonna pull you out of position. Rend the mart. That's happening because the target is marked and they're doing extra damage. I think they also might have an extra crit chance. Not absolutely certain on that one, though. Compassion is a rarity in the fevered pitch of battle. Healed you for two. Uh, I'm no longer being protected, but these guys can only hit the front line anyway, so it doesn't matter either way. Hmm, good heal. Yields for its highest possible value. As well as crit on that value to double it. So I'll try and kill the one that has the extra stun resist. That could have been a lot worse. Get as much stress heal as I possibly can out right now. Because we've got another obstacle coming up. It's just going to be worse. We can toy with uh, food for a moment here. Passion is a rarity in the fevered pitch of battle. Ah, oh, come on, I was expecting you to hit Dismas. Ah, uh, not Dismas, the Highwayman, sorry. Crit. And now we'll be targeting for the kill. Eh, off his heal. Good, good, good. Success so clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? 
So we definitely need to make space for a stack of rare antiques. It's just what we lose to get it. It's the most difficult thing to do. This is when you have antiquarians in early dungeons. It's, it's difficult. I'm actually going to drop the onyx. I'm not pleased about that, frankly, but... Sacrifices must be made. I deserve all of the stress I'm taking now. It's all on me. I balls it up hardcore. I'm gonna try and pull the madman out of position so that I can actually kill it. Like, it is my immediate highest priority in this fight. Then the cultist act. Good. Hey, nice try. Oh, and Ren's the marked. There we go. Hey. Pull you out of position, which also moves a fungal scratcher out of position. Oh, huh, that the, the did the did the stun? Sorry, did the the what? Huh? It, it looks like the stress didn't go through because we killed during the repast. That's not how that's supposed to work. Injury. Palpable fear. Damn Iron Crown. We've just got to start working the stress back down at all times. This is effectively just going to be like a nice real hardcore test of my uh, stress management skills. Which I like to consider myself reasonably good at. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let both of them attack one more time. Especially because I'm no longer marked. Perfect. Because both of them are now dead to their bleeds, which gives me just an entire round of free healing. Okay. Stress heal those who were stressed. Is struck. A blazing star is born. Here we go. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Uh, two obstacles in a row! Uh, well, I would be out of shovels at this point anyway. Right, I would not have brought more than four. I'm gonna be as real as I can with you. I would not have brought more than four. The way is lit, the path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. At least they're surprised. We can't stall on this fight, though, so... Good decimated. Crit. Don't say decimated. Get as many of them off the field as I possibly can. Lower the possibility of getting suddenly crit. They've done very little in this fight. I'm appreciative. I've got to stress heal wherever possible. Nice. 
Nice. Annihilated. Nice. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. So here's a big concern of mine right now. I really want to turn out the light and come back and loot. Oh, you! Twisted faces of the damned. Ah, uh, we need a stun. We need a stun to open this fight. There's, there's frankly no two ways around it. 50% with us. We can't guarantee it either. Literally a 6% chance. Yes! Okay, good, good, good. We've got a point blank shot following up this. Collectors on half HP. The big problem that, uh, that you may have already spotted uh, is that we do not have a great ability to hit the back line. So we can't just kill the collector right now we have to kill the collections in front well at least you're protecting the target i can't even hit my repost is going to be like a major source of my damage here in a single strike. that crit wasn't handy Dodged is hard. Um, I just have to get the collected highwayman down as soon as I possibly can there. Guard me. There we go. Good crit in response. Thank you. Good. We can start hitting this collect. Oh, no, we can't. Of course, collected man at arms literally the only thing that the man at arms here can do um, roll the stun good oh 10 damage not bad there's the collect call for the resummon and don't get a vestal don't get a vestal don't get a vestal don't get a vestal didn't get a vestal did not get a vestal um I'm gonna buy Bouchard for one more round. I'm gonna buff all of our dodge. A brilliant confluence of skill and purpose. And oh my god, I can't protect me again. That sucks. That's so bad. I I should have I should have checked the tooltips. That's frankly on me. I should have checked the tooltips. Like, super overkill, but nice. Unfortunately, like, Neville needs to roll these heals, but Neville also really, really, really needs to deal damage to the Collector while we can. Because Neville deals a lot of damage to the Collector. That's stress, by the way, just in case you were wondering. Yep, you're on Death's Door, and you're and bleeding. Now, the true right. test. Hold fast. So let's get you off death's door. Let's heal you a little bit more so that the lead doesn't put you back on death's door. There's a head games, so no more hitting on the collector. Good. Back in a reasonable HP position. Headhunt's our back line, which previously would have been fine. Another collect call. Don't get a Vestal. Don't get a Vestal. I mean, the Highwaymen are bad as well, but at least it's not a Vestal. Didn't kill. Damn. Bad action economy not to be able to kill there. Okay, at least you're not targeting the back line, but unfortunately, that is the target I wanted to kill. Soon. There's that. I'm actually going to pull the backliner out of position so that I can try and just straight up kill you. Okay. 
Okay. I'm pretty sure all of the chumps now just die when the collector does. A predator is often right? blind to its own peril. They do. They didn't used to, which allowed you to stall infinitely if you just had like a Vestal and a something else victory. quite low impact on the field. A victory, nonetheless. So like a Vestal and a Man at Arms or two Men at Arms, those kinds of things. Um, it was actually like a real good strat for a while there. Crit. Another abomination cleansed from our land. I want to use your stress heal, but you are ridiculous against these enemies and I can't see why I wouldn't take advantage of that. I don't want to get this out of control, so we're not going to let them Saito use Cytokinesis, rather. That's an empty room, so I actually don't even need to go past that obstacle. I mean, I get one Curio for my trouble. Uh, travel? For my troubles. in. Haunting the hearts of men. Portraits are pretty important, but they're not as important as anything else at the moment. Is that true? That is true. That bleeds only two more damage on you. If it was still like four damage, I might have used a bandage there, but it's not, so I won't. Not really getting the kind of loot that we want. A fortune waiting to be spent. Looting this in low light is just terrifying. I, I can't even do it. The possibility that it gives me stress is not high. I think it might be like 13 or 14 or 15. I think it's actually 15. Um, yeah, the possibility it gives us stress is not ridiculously high, but God, if it did, we're going down and yelling timber. Uh, none of you have a significant amount of negatives. That's cool as hell. Uh, we'll have Neville do it then. Nice. Speedstone's actually pretty good, but this late in the game, I, um, else to take it. Yes, I decided not to loot that with Mortimer. Um, the reason I didn't want to loot it with Mortimer is because Mortimer is actually like, really important to keep clean so that I can run her on events when I desperately need gold. I don't want to have to purge her of a negative quirk, which you can get from those, um, in order to then go out and use her to get gold. Like, it's it kind of runs against itself, kind of, kind of counterproductive, if I have to spend money to use her to make money when I desperately need money. These can't, they're unlocked, right? Can't do anything with it, so. I'd add two Onyx right now. If I was stacking them. I could foresee a future in which I drop this speed stone. It's not even difficult. Here's our second to last skeleton key. Unfortunately, we will need to hold on to... God, this would be such a good heirloom dungeon. Uh, unfortunately, we will need to hold on to our last skeleton key just in case we find a secret room a moment of respite a chance to steel oneself against the coming horrors so initially i really wanted to use um i think actually my nighttime ambush prevention won't be bandit sense i think it'll be zealous vigil just get 25 stress off of you Yeah, Zealous Vigil does prevent the Nighttime Ambush regardless of whether or not you're afflicted. Someone said it only prevents it if you're afflicted, but it's not if afflicted, negative 15 stress, prevent Nighttime Ambush. It's if afflicted, negative 15 stress, new thing, prevents Nighttime Ambush. Um, here, we definitely need to use Unparalleled Finesse. And I think after that, it's just going to be two encourages on different targets. As much as I want to Trinket Scrounge, because you can get something ridiculous. The... Yeah. <sighs> Could have been better, could have been worse. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted, and purpose is made clear. Alright, disarm that trap. 
hang on. The Antiquarian. Nice, very nice. These rare antiques are really how you stack your gold in this run. If I get a scouting here, I'll be so pleased. That's another car uh, cartographer's camp. I mean, at least we're in highlight this time, so we would get less stress if we used it. Debating whether or not we will. If you're wondering why I rolled the shot there, it's because we have Eagle Eye, and the shot has the highest crit mod of all of your attacks, and I'm trying to crit constantly so that I can lower stress. Real good fight. No scouting, though. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. See, this is this is why the tents are really valuable because they have a bunch of different resources. Um, we've actually got a, another key out of that, which is quite nice. Unfortunately, I do have to complete one hundred percent of room battles, so because I don't know whether or not this is a room battle, Glorious I just have to go there. The I don't really have a choice. Art. His efficacy unwitnessed by his own eyes. Of the torch. I shouldn't need it before this. No, never mind. I do need it in this room. Cool. Ah. Nice. So I only have eight food left right now, which is really low. Uh, as a result, I probably will not use our second firewood. Which is straight up not a thing you should ever, like, have to do. I underprepared. I tried to overprepare and I ended up underpreparing. Good surprise. To pull you out of position. Because she is still literally the most threatening target on the board right now. Like, think about it like this. If our characters were low HP, I would kill the highest damaging target on the field first. However, our characters are high HP, but they are low... Well, not low stress. They're high stress and high in that circumstance is the bad. Um, and as a result, it is really important I kill the stress dealers first. Usually that's the most important thing to do anyway, but it's even more important to do right now. Um, I'm going to try and take some greed actions here to stress heal, even when it's not guaranteed to be a good idea. Nice. That would be our third like onyx. Creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. I should have been taking onyx instead of speedstone. Stashed heirlooms. Glittering gold, trinkets and baubles. Paid for in blood. <sighs> Should be the fungal artillery. Just go for the one. Just go for the one. Get that one down. Right. Come on. I'm just going to get that target down. Ran the marks on the wrong target as well. God, hit the repostman. Stop marking. This is exactly why I put the mark on Dismas there. Come on. We should... Oh, nice. And it didn't even bleed. Hell yes. I'm actually going to stress heal myself here. In Radiance, may we find victory. Great response. Beautiful. We are really well handling all of this stress right now. Frankly, I'm amazed that we don't, haven't even had a resolve check yet. By this rate, we definitely should have. 
Well, we've managed to avoid it this far. That's pretty much the perfect ordering for me because that allowed me to get all of my recovery actions out and then kill at the very end. Last one out, closed the door. At this point, it's probably like sunk cost that's preventing me from dropping out the speed stone here. I, I just have to do it. Um, scout. Not bad. That long. Can I deal with that on eight torches? Probably not. I probably do need all of those torches. Just sad. Two extra foods, not bad. Okay. Actually gonna pop the torch before I go here for the increased surprise chance, and it worked. Well, we don't know whether or not I would have surprised without it, but I've got a feeling, woohoo, that tonight's gonna be a good night. That this fight's gonna be a good fight. That this fight's gonna be a good, good fight. Hell yeah. Nice! You rolled the highest. The damage table there was uh, 6 to 12, and he rolled the exact highest that he could in order to kill without critting. Bam! Nice. Ghoulish horrors. Brought low and driven into the mud. It's not possible to not start another sack of, uh... You know what? Because the bandages are really important as well. Gold, like another stack of gold would be really good. And if I loot just like two more food from anything else, I will be able to use the firewood in order to reduce everyone's stress before I go back home. It hurts to pass up a stack of gold, especially when I have an antiquarian in the party, but I think it's correct. Uh, here's why I kept the bandages, by the way. Okay, please scout. Nope. Oh, both of these are just wealth loot. beyond measure. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. Please scout. Ectoplasms. Probably the easiest thing I could be fighting at this point. Damn it. Our luck ran out. Nice. Well, I say it ran out. Clearly didn't. Oh, okay, so I now know, because it was complete 100% of room battles, I now know so these other two rooms are empty. Resistance. And this has also put me in a position where now, if I come up against an obstacle, I can just decide to leave. I'm, I'm frankly really proud of how this went. It also did go very, very luckily for me. Do not get it twisted. This rap shit is mine. This is not a bleep game. Bleep what you heard. Never mind. Uh, single minority. But, they, but I'll get one from everything. I will now trade out the bandages. I mean, not getting the not getting the first actions is hmm. right. Like it's it's like that. Um, I'm actually gonna try the stun here. It's only a 60% chance, but yeah. Damn it. The fact that like they're like both of their characters, unfortunately, acted before a we did. Oh my God. That out of position move is so good. Um. But the fact that both of their characters acted before we did was you know, not great. Because we would be reposting all over the GD place.
Bye bye. Ah, oh, don't crit! Now it didn't leave a corpse, which means the Brigham Cutthroat's in the third position rather than the fourth position. If they were in the third position, uh, sorry, if they were in the fourth position, they would only have a harmless poke that they could do. The bigger the beast. Oh my god. The greater the glory. The crits are so real. The crits don't stop coming and they don't stop coming. Fed to the rules and they hit the ground running. I come on, man. Shovel now. I'm gonna pump the torch for the last time. Take a shovel. I really want to take the gold as well, frankly. And will do so. I should have I should have dropped that holding water for a gold earlier, but I was so reliant. Reliant? I was so hopeful. I think that's what I'm looking for, actually. I'll come back in a second to loot that. Because both of these are occupied spaces, so I know that there won't be any fights there. Yeah. We didn't get a scout there, so there's possibly a secret room here, and we'll just never see it. Turn out the light, loot this. The darkness holds dominion. Thanks. And then we'll loot this with our final skeleton key. This is another skeleton key back. Of course it does. And now we can rest. Huddled together, furtive and vulnerable, rats in a maze. Zealous vigil. Literally, all I need to do here is as much stress removal as is humanly possible, as well as trinket scrounge. So, stress removal on you. Stress removal on you, and I don't think we even have the ability to do any more after that. Yeah. Well, I mean, this is stress removal, but it has the ability to stress the rest of our party out even more, so. We'll end that there. Take our winnings home. Driving out corruption is an endless battle, but one that must be fought. 3.5. Sorry, 35. 35,000. Not bad. Mm, got a lot of neg uh, negatives here. Uh, the Calm, not bad. Warren's Folk, not that bad. God-fearing, not bad. Stout, not good. Eldritch Slayer, really good. Okay, never mind. This actually, I mean, like, Calm is bad on some characters, naturally, but an Antiquarian? A they can be Calm. Irritant to some. A sanguine memory to me. That's the most money we've had in a very long time. And that money is going to go directly back into our party, courtesy of... Oh, I really need to get that. Uh, courtesy of locking people in to lock in their negative... Uh, lock in their positive quirks and lock out their negative quirks. Uh, and obviously, to start leveling up our characters to their highest extremes. Neither of those are particularly interesting. Until your antsy as well as a, no uh, you've the yips no negative five accuracy necromania necromania is not really worth it for what you have oh extra crit on your range skills for the leper and egomania and calm okay so that's just complete garbage in there do we have any great missions a long mission in the ruins is not bad not bad at all we have two short missions in the Warrens. Not the Dazzling Charm wouldn't be too bad. I do want, you know, different charms, but still. Long Veteran Wield. I can't really see ourselves doing that. Hero's Ring is actually... I, I, I do like having a Hero's Ring as well as the... The Tentacle Idol. The Shambler's Tentacle Idol. Ancestral Trinket. Because then you can do funky kind of Virtue Chance cheating stuff. But... I don't think so at the moment. I think next mission is almost certainly going to be this in the ruins, and it probably won't be this same party. But heck, it might be. For the moment, my name has been Rhapsody. The name of the game has been the Darkest Rhapsody. Uh, no, has been Darkest Dungeon. This has been the Darkest Rhapsody Estate. Hopefully, you've been enjoying yourselves, and hopefully, we'll see you next time.